Good afternoon. I would like to preface this topic with the following statement. Here now, as part of this symposium, we are humbly grateful to have such renowned, dedicated, and incredibly brilliant physicians with us. All of you, as well as the healthcare providers and even the companies who strive to bring pharmaceutical and technical help to us, are the reason we have come this far. And it gives us even more hope for the future. You have enriched our lives with your commitment and tireless work. And there is no possible way that we can fully express our gratitude. The result of your efforts are proven in the great strides in medical care and the survival rate for our patients and their loved ones. However, not all physicians or caregivers are as knowledgeable about the diversity or the many aspects of such a multitude of digestive diseases. With this in mind, it is crucial to expand our understanding to those who are not so fortunate as to have this benefit and to listen to the needs and concerns of their patients. As part of our goal in bringing information and help to our patients, a questionnaire was sent out to members of the organization. They were given the opportunity to express their experiences, needs, and concerns through a series of question and answer selections, along with a brief descriptive essay. A compilation of this information provided an extraordinary glimpse into the lives of so many who suffer from a wide range of digestive diseases. What was most notable, but not a great surprise, was the common thread of need, a need for understanding information, treatment, research, and help. At this time, I would like to share with you some facts and information from this research with the hope that this will give us all an important insight into the actual person, the family member, the friend, the patient, the adult, or the child. This should amplify our awareness and enhance our knowledge of this person outside of the realm of the medical technicalities, jargon, treatment, and to concentrate just for a few minutes on the cause and effect of the disease itself. This questionnaire was answered by a wide range of aid groups, primarily women and also of parents of affected children. Now this does not in any way infer that more women have the disease, however, more women were willing to speak about it. <laughs> 